Hey there, welcome to another radio related video. Um, I had an idea of doing a series of videos about um, the shortwave bands. Uh, officially shortwave goes from 3 to 30 megahertz. So I t s was thinking about this and thought it was a good idea for all those newbies out there that just don't know actually what to listen to, where to listen to and what is there to listen depending on the frequency you are tuning. Uh, it's something that's a big uh, mystery for lots of shortwave listeners that are pretty new to the hobby. So I'll do a megahertz by megahertz quick summary and please this is really quick summary it's not a very detailed summary but as we go through the signals and as we go through the megahertz I'll comment on basically what you can hear generally on each of those megahertz so I'm gonna start at the upper edge of the band so from 29 to 30 megahertz there's a megahertz there um, what's there to listen to on 29 to 30 well basically first of all 29 to 30 megahertz is one of those bands that does not have signals all the time first condition to have good signals there is uh, good solar activity we're getting in the higher peak of solar cycle 24 and so we're having signals there um, more regularly and often you have more in the winter than in the summer that's you know some propagation issue there the way the angle of the sun lots of little details there but basically when solar activity is higher you get signals here it will be most of the time daytime reception from sunrise to sunset there are exceptions. Every band has its little exception, its little rule that can be broken. So don't take it for, you know, an absolute truth. So even if it's midnight, don't hesitate and say, well, it's dark, so there won't be anything to listen to. The key to having fun with your radio is, you know, going outside of the box. Tune that frequency range that you know you'll never hear nothing at a specific time. But tune it anyway. You'd be surprised what you can uh, actually um, l hear, you know? So, 29 to 30 megahertz is big part of it, big chunk of it from 29 to 29.700 is uh, the last part of the, the upper part of the 10 meter amateur radio band. But it has a little detail different it's different from the 10 meters that's from 28 megahertz is that the modes used are different so basically 29 to 21 9.7 you'll hear mostly signals that are in am mode on the lower part of the band and starting at about 29 300 up to 29.700 most stations are at fm mode so it, to be able to listen to some of the activity here you need to have FM available on the 29 megahertz so it's not all shortwave receivers that have that uh, basically it's more like higher hand receivers like this icon that I'm using to show you so basically let's tune I don't know if we'll hear anything today but let's just go around and tune so AM mode is used on the lower part I don't really hear nothing here and I would say basically at 29300 switch to FM and tune around to see if you hear something now you see today So there's something here. There's some amateur radio repeater somewhere on 29650. That's actually tripping. So you see there's one signal here, 29650. Which is a 
squelch it a little bit so you can hear me better. So uh, up to 29700, some amateur radio uh, stuff and it could be interesting, uh, take a look. Um, I, I remember having lots of fun listening to 29660 uh, a few years back with the uh, Virgin Islands repeater in the Caribbean and it was there was lots of traffic and it was really really nice and like I said at the night time usually it's not open but go listen anyway because there are things like sporadic e-skip that we call that can actually make you listen to these high frequencies all through the night so uh, take a listen from time to time and don't doesn't matter yes you will hear more on the daytime usually but it doesn't mean there won't be anything at night and then starting at the band stops at 29.7 after that the little part that's left here I would say it's basically pretty much unused with my there might be some utility signals uh, from 29.7 to 30 megahertz so uh, I've never heard anything above 29.7 up to the 30 megahertz band it, but it doesn't mean there's nothing you can tune around maybe in uh, your country you'll hear something from the 29.7 to the 30 megahertz range so uh, this was the first megahertz which is 29 and we'll do each megahertz up to 3 megahertz and the down 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 portion of the shortwave band explaining what we can listen on these bands. So hope you enjoy these tutorial videos and um, come back often. Lots of videos coming up and there's gonna be lots and lots of stuff on this channel so um, I want it to be uh, really one of the very big shortwave channels on YouTube. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, 73's and take a look at the other uh, megahertz videos I will call them. Uh, to see megahertz by megahertz what you can listen to on shortwave. 73s.